set your boundaries. Now keep in mind, I know every divorce or breakup can have different circumstances and different situations, especially when you have children. This can be really hard, um, but one thing that I learned in a couple of my divorces was I didn't set boundaries for myself. And I finally did on my last one. I learned what I could handle, what things I didn't need to necessarily handle, and how I was allowing people to kind of steamroll over me. And it was a huge lesson for me that I ended up eventually learning and eventually doing better with. But I will say there were times during my divorces where I didn't set boundaries and I didn't stand up for myself and it made it really difficult. And looking back on it, there are a lot of things I wish I would have done differently. So that being said, sit down and determine what are your boundaries? Where do you need space? Where do you need um, support, different things like that. For me, setting boundaries was I had to do the best I could at having no contact unless it was extremely important, involved our divorce, and then in one case where it involved our children. So that is a whole different scenario. Um, but being able to set those boundaries for yourself, even if sometimes it's hard and you can't maybe necessarily be perfect 100%, at least sit down and think about it. So many people go in through a divorce or breakup not setting expectations for what they need to heal and what their boundaries are. So I encourage you to sit down, make a list of what's important to you and where you can kind of regroup and retake your energy. Um, take your energy back in that process. It's super important and so many people don't think about it. So set your boundaries.